everybody. Just got back from dropping the kids off at the Leadership Academy. Today is their um, second day. So we got up at, um, well, I got up at 6, but they got up at 6.30 this morning and they got all of their individual uh, core classes done at home and then I took them to the academy um, and dropped them off and now it's about 1030 and I am gonna have to figure out something to do we've been homeschooling for this is our fifth year and I'm not used to having a few hours of the day to myself so I'm sure I'll end up cleaning um, or organizing doing something like that uh, will definitely be time well spent to keep me busy and it's kind of a chilly, rainy morning here. Um, it was 48 degrees when I took the kids and it was pouring down rain. So we got kind of wet going into the academy, but I guess that's fall weather, right? Um, fall only lasts about, feels like five minutes here and we'll have snow on the ground for months. So I will go ahead and take these days and uh, try not to complain about it much because the months of snow tend to get a little long and tiresome. So anyways, um, yeah, so that's how our morning's been going. We are going to have a little bit of a curriculum change starting um, in two weeks. Uh, the reason it's going to be two weeks is because we're going to take a week off from school and do our family camping and hunting trip, which we will do a video um, about that but we're gonna take about a week and go do that it's always something fun that we enjoy doing as a family and we get to use our new motorhome uh, for our camping trip which will be so nice and feel super spoiled um, but when we get back from that we've decided to add IEW into Cash's language arts uh, for writing uh, Bookshark was fine, but you know, every kid's different and um, it just isn't a great fit for him. And he's done IEW in the past and he really wanted to go back to that. And so I went ahead and ordered it and we got it in and I will do a flip through um, in this video to show you what that looks like if you're not familiar with it. Um, it's very structured and it's um, a lot of help for kids that have a hard time thinking about uh, what they want to write about. Um, they do an outline for something already written and then they rewrite it. So they're still getting the writing skills and everything down, um, but they don't have to pull all the ideas, um, you know, from their head. It's already right in front of them, which I think really helps because sometimes he struggles with coming up with something to write about. Um, so yeah, we'll do this and I think it'll be really good for him. Like I said, we've used it in the past. We just kind of branched out to see if there was something else uh, out there for him. But, you know, you go back to what works. So that's what we're going to do for him. Bookshark is going great for Madison. So we're not going to change anything there for her. She's going to keep doing that language arts. And, you know, if, if it becomes an issue and we're struggling, then, you know, we'll make a change. That's one of the beauties of homeschooling is you change things if you need to or you don't if it's you know not broken so yeah otherwise um, I will check back in after a while and uh, tell you what's going on in our day so here's a look at the writing curriculum that Cash will be using this is from IEW which is Institute for Excellence in Writing I got him um, the year one level B. Uh, if you get online, it'll show you for what uh, grades, what levels you can use. So we got him level B year one, and then he'll, he can follow it up with uh, level B year two. After that is level C, um, which is recommended for high school. And in fact, my oldest Bryson is doing level C this year uh, for his senior year, just to give him a little more uh, structure uh, learning how to write so anyways I'll do a kind of a flip through this and then I'll show you uh, the binder which is the student binder so that will be for cash and then I will have the teacher's manual um, this other side of this blue page has like my activation code and stuff on it for the streaming videos because it does have videos streaming um, with a teacher teaching 
you know, lessons and then you will, you know, just make sure the kids are doing their work and doing their outlines and things like that and being the person to help edit and grade it. Uh, so it starts out with your table of contents here, um, how to set up your binder, and there's a copy of this also in the binder for the kids. Um, everything has a picture on the teacher manual of the exact page that they will have in their binder. And then the teacher manual will have additional notes up here as well. And then your scope and sequence. And then uh, different notes of how you can uh, adapt things and change them. And then right here is week one of what they will be doing. And again, they have this exact copy of this right here um, in their binder and it goes by day, um, what they need to be doing. So day one, day two, day three, day four and five. And yes, my nails, my daughter likes uh, us to do nails periodically. <laughs> Up, so they're really sparkly and she had me choose what colors but anyways um so day one day two day three day four and five so you could split it up um i like to split it up anyways because like day one you know this is a 41 minute video so we might split the video into like two days it just kind of depends on how the day's going and run it more as a five day school week unless we can get it all done in the four and then I have him, you know, as he's going, just kind of check off each thing, showing that it was completed. And then here's some different notes, like a literature suggestion, um, which we've actually read this book before. And then, um, you know, some other notes up there. And then this is going to be, you know, what the teacher, Mr. Uh, Poudois, goes over um, on the video and what he writes up on the uh board so you have a copy of that and then uh, this is the source text that they have so this is what they will be making an outline from they'll be learning how to make outlines and then write from that and then you have some you know extra notes of what you know the outline is and then some definitions so some vocabulary and then this is the another source text with some vocabulary here. And again, they get all these things. This is a model chart is what they call it. Um, and they will have a copy of this in their binder as well. And then this tells you how they want, you know, to organize the binder and where these things should go after it's completed and what homework they will have. And then it's week two and it's all the same thing again. The teacher's manual will have, you know, different literature suggestions, notes, um, you know, copies of everything that they're going to get. Some more definitions. Here's uh, how to do different dress ups. They'll go over that, sentence openers. So it's a really good program. We've enjoyed it doing it in the past. And then let's take a look at the binder. And I did set this up um, already for him since he's busy with the academy and everything. So the way that it says to set it up is you put, you know, all the weeks you'll be doing in the back. And the week you're currently on, you have up here at the front. So I've got week one up here for him. And then again, this is the same exact thing that was in the teacher manual. And then his source texts. If I can turn the page, more source text. Here's the handout, the model chart on how to make an outline. And then this is just, you know, they also have a copy of the table of contents in their binder. Um, how to organize their binder. So I'll just keep this in here and then the scope and sequence. And then as they're going through, they will, you know, start filing things behind source text, the model charts, work in progress, finished compositions. 
They'll go over banned words that you can't use, so you have to find better words to use. Sorry, it's not focusing. Punctuation and usage and some documentation. So again, really good writing program. I like that there's a teacher that goes over everything and he's actually pretty entertaining um, and funny at times. So it makes one less thing for me to have to do and then I just help edit and make sure all the work's getting done, um, which I find language arts to be you know, a little more difficult of a subject to grade. So uh, also, let me see if I can find one. First week you don't have to do it, but, okay, here we go. Here's unit two, week two. Um, this is how you would grade the paper. So it's not like, oh, is, was the paper good? Or, you know, you don't grade on that. You grade on if they have their name and date, if it's double spaced, you know, if the title centered and repeats one to three words from the final sentence and so on. Um, does it have an LY adverb, capitalization, in marks, punctuation, complete sentences, correct spelling? So you're grading on those things, which makes it really easy um, to do. Just as long as they have all those things, then they get a good grade on their paper. As it goes, you know, on, it's gonna get to where you're grading on more things. The paper is getting longer. So paragraph one, does it have an LY adverb? Paragraph two, does it have an LY adverb? Paragraph three, does it have one? You know, so it gets more in depth and they have to do more things, but it's super easy to check off and grade with these. I find it makes things a lot uh, easier. It also makes it easier for them because they know exactly what they have to have in their paper. You know, just checking off all these things and then we just confirm it. So anyways, I think it's a really interesting curriculum how that how it works and I'm looking forward to getting cash going on it. I think it'll be really, really good for him. And yeah, we'll get started on this, like I said earlier when we get back from our camping trip. And other than that, we'll keep going on all our other subjects that we have. Well, it got a little nice out. Um, not great, but at least it's not pouring down rain on me now. So I thought I'd come out here uh, to end the video. Um, I have to leave here in just a few minutes to go pick up the kids from the academy. Uh, today they um, got to do Spanish. Yesterday was movie making in addition to CrossFit and wrestling while they're there. Uh, tonight we don't have any other extra practices or anything, so they just have the evening off, which will be nice. Uh, yesterday they had uh, another wrestling practice in the evening, so it was a long day, but they love it. and. You know, everybody sleeps really good at night because we're so busy during the day. Um, but yeah, today we don't have anything. Um, tomorrow we will have wrestling again in the evening. And then Friday um, we will have jujitsu in the evening. And then Saturday we have jujitsu. And then Mas Madison also does gymnastics. Saturday will also be the day I think that we will leave to go on our camping trip. Um, hopefully, the weather cooperates. It's supposed to be kind of windy and cold over there uh, tomorrow, but I'm hoping, you know, if we wait a few days that we'll get some nicer weather. Um, but again, at least we have our RV this time to help keep us out of the wind and the rain. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad of a day right now. Um, looking kind of, kind of nice there behind me. I know it's not going to last too long. So we're supposed to get more rain, but I'll take what I can get. I just wanted to say thanks for watching. I'm sure our videos will get better as we go along, get used to it. It's kind of hard to get used to, you know, talking to the camera all the time and um, trying to show curriculum and stuff uh, using the phone. Um, but yeah, just, I guess, just keep working on it. And I appreciate people that are, you know, liking our videos or subscribing to our channel. Uh, it's always nice to see and I share it with the kids so they get pretty excited about it as well. So again, thanks for watching and until next time.